guys, getting ready to take off today in a 1963 Ford Falcon. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe, share, hit like. We post classic muscle cars pretty much every day. Located in uh, Hendersonville, Tennessee. Check us out, maplemotors.com. I have financing and shipping available for you. Plus, we got about 100 detailed pictures of every ride on the lot. What we're going to do is uh, take you down the road, see what I can find that's wrong with it. After the test drive, we'll get back to the lot and do a uh, picking out the flaws segment of the video where I'm walking around, looking at all the lower panels, looking for dents and scratches to give you a full review. A lot of people buy these cars all over the country from California to Texas to New York. And I want you to know everything about it before you get here. So sit back, relax. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior on this car and kind of check everything out. Place your bets. Do you think the horn works? It's a game we like to play on the channel. It's a little cold today, but I guess I'll take the top down. It looks like on the top here, they've got some foam they've wrapped around it. I'm not 100% sure why. Maybe to keep you from hitting your head, I guess. I don't, I don't know. And then looking at the back seat, totally different on this back seat than what I'm used to seeing. But it's in good shape. The carpet in this, you can tell they tried to replace it. Um, got to stretch some of this stuff out, though. They've got it a little bit off here. Well, a lot of bit off. That needs to be in the center of the floorboard. But it'll be all right. They tried to put some new carpet in it, uh, the previous owners. We've got some aftermarket gauges under the dash. The dash itself looks pretty good. Got some nice curves to it. And it's showing 33,000 miles. It's hard to stand behind mileage on a 1963 model car. You don't know how long that odometer's been turning. If the speedo quit working at any point, it stops turning. There's a lot of factors that come in these old classics here. Let's go ahead and get it started up. It does start up good. It's got the three speed. Let it warm up a little bit. Oil pressure is up around uh, 45, 50. Looks like the voltmeter's not hooked up and Tip gauge is still down at the moment. Let's try the blower. It works, should have a good heater, no AC. Try the wipers. They work, but I can stop them anywhere I want. All right. Turn signal. Does not seem like it's going to work. The actual turn signal feels a little messed up there on the column. Well, I guess it's time to drop this top. I don't know. It's the first time I've been in this car, so I do this on purpose. I get in these cars with you with the camera and learn everything with you. To me, that's a, a real experience here. So we've got the top button there. And that should lift it up. Right side is pulling, left side is struggling a little bit. So what I'm gonna do, help it a little. Get it about yay back. Push on it now. Down. We've got her down. Let's go ahead and roll down all the windows here. Got these back windows. Definitely going to need both hands for this to help these down. There it goes. That one went smooth after a little adjustment. down with that unlocking this i'm gonna roll down this window for now but i gotta roll it right back up to put y'all on it that's where i strap these gopros which i'm excited to say my new ones are coming in here soon so there we go i got it down with one hand the bandit's back weather stripping on this side definitely need some new weather stripping that's where it used to be okay All right, it's time to hit the road, guys. Let's get it.
Got you on the wide lens. And you're set up on the window over here. We're gonna take off down the road. Anything I see, feel, anything wrong with the car, I will let you know. Um, that's exactly why I do these videos. Engine temperature's already coming up, so it's working. Uh, other than that, we definitely wanna get some gas. Gas gauge is non-existent right now. We'll see if we can get that to come back. Hopefully it's not that empty we run out. <laughs> All right, three speed here. I haven't drove three speed in a while. It's all right. Cat just keeps spinning there. Clutch, it's letting out pretty decent. I would add a heavier spring. That way it really comes back. And there's no power steering on this one. can't stand behind mileage speedo's not working on this that means mileage is not turning over got some slack in the steering it's good two or three inches of slack turn it there and turn it there going to the gas station this one didn't have seat belts either I bet when they replaced the uh, carpet they didn't put the old seat belts back in they were probably planning on putting new seat belts I noticed on this door handle it needs a hey, screw staying on definitely needs a screw dollars worth of fuel in this car and I don't think the gas gauge is gonna work but I'll let you know here in a minute all right $20 of fuel in this ride I don't have too much faith in that gas gauge but we will check it here as soon as I start it up you put the gas in the back right there on that cat right there in the middle try it out all right look it's popped up it wasn't there before it did it popped up out of nowhere that gauge was not there I don't I don't trust it but I see it now that I put $20 of fuel so maybe when it disappears you might want to get some gas <laughs> let's keep it rolling
Okay. Got y'all on the window. Getting ready to take off here. Let's roll on back to the lot. Definitely a uh, nice little cruiser. Tighten up some of the steering component components, and uh, I think you'll be all right. Get used to the manual brakes and the no power steering on this one. But this car is super light, so it's actually pretty easy to turn, anyways. to use the turn signals I do not believe they work open road I figured I'd take advantage of it. We'll get turned around up here. And head on back to the car a lot now. Now that we're pulling back in over here, we're going to do the walk around video, point out chip scratches and flaws. I do this at the end of every video here. I noticed it is a little bit difficult to find the first, but I think we're in there now. There it is. Okay. Uh, looking over our gauges, oil pressure is a little bit on the low side. Let's pull you off the window here. I'll show you the gauges. So our tip gauge is decent. Oil pressure's a little low. I don't know how true it's reading, but it seems like it's reading pretty true. When you rev it up, it's getting around 25. So now let's walk around this car and point out any kind of chip scratches, rust, and flaws. See you in a minute.
Okay, back at the lot. We're gonna walk around this ride, point out chips, scratches, flaws, anything I can find. Look at the detailed pictures at maplemotors.com. And uh, you can also check out the shipping and the financing that we provide. So let's get started here. This one's got a lot of little chips and scratches, older paint job here. Let's start up at the front. Electric fan. See that right there up against the radiator. They got a pretty clean bumper on this one. Grill is not in bad shape. You got some scratches and stuff on your paint job up around the front end. Coming down this way, you got some good tires on American racing wheels. Up and over the fender is a chip there. Lots of chips on this car, so. Scratches right there on your trim, pitting on your trim. A little fading right here on the paint job with some orange peel. You also got some stuff on the body there. You got a little bit of rust at the bottom of the door. Coming on down. Lots of chips. Scratches there at the bottom. A little rust popping up. Chips and scratches again. Up and over. Scratches there on the lower portion. Some up top too. Coming back to the midsection. Get some chips on the back around the tail lights. Missing the lock. Coming over the top portion here. Chips up here on top too. Light scratches, few holes. I'd say they're probably like a spotlight or maybe the old mirrors and they moved them back. Looking over the front windshield, your seal up here is, they've thrown some silicone on it. Probably try to keep it from leaking. Mirrors, not too bad. Vent windows got some pitting on it. Looking over the top here, a lot of times this will collect rust and basically just a few scratches, and some overspray. Could be all cleaned up. Moving back over the top of the door, you got some light scratches. A lot of pitting on the door handle. Chips right there. Scratches. Right, coming around the back. Let's go ahead and check out the trunk. Carpet in the trunk looks pretty cool. Nice and clean. Lift it up, new gas tank. Let's see where they put the silicone around the gas tank to seal it in. Package tray. Insulation that was up under the hood is not there, or under the trunk is not there anymore, and it needs new weather stripping. That's where it was glued on, the old weather stripping. Look at it in your jams, solid. Let's go ahead and shut the trunk. Very easy to shut. You can see your emblem there. Locked. Oh, bird gummy. Fading on the paint oxidized okay. some blemishes all in the trunk lid spot there a couple chips looking over the back exhaust kicked out there looks like a fairly new chrome bumper on the back in good shape Let's go down this side now. Lower portion first, back mid section. Coming on down, a little chip there. Tires in good shape, chip there. Light scratch. 
down the lower portion some chips lots of chips on this car it's like that's bowed out a little bit at the bottom of the door nice crease here too got some bubbling popping up in the corner haziness scratches extra wax left over there some chips up front here coming back midsection spots in the paint there's pretty much spots all over this car when it comes to chips definitely an older paint job i'm wondering if they had a spotlight on here because you can see maybe where the old mirror was and now there's four bolts there i'd say maybe that mirror was here and a mirror was there and spotlight was here at one point Coming back. Lots of pitting on your trim. Spots popping up. There's chips there. Coming back over the top of the fender, you got some chips in here. Chrome's kind of battered up a little bit with oxidation. Door handle, same way. Vent window. Hitting. All right, we'll continue walking around this car now. Eventually get to where we start to motor up again. She did run and drive pretty good. Good over the top. Seals are not bad on the top, little rip there. But this, all, this is all soft, so that's good. Check out that back seat. It's like a futon. <laughs> Opening up the door. Door panel's in good shape. It's not all beat up. It does have some signs of wear, but weather stripping, soft. It needs to be re-glued around the door, but not too bad. Looking at the bottom. Jams. And like I said, they tried to change the carpet out. I've done a lot of carpets in cars before. This one could have been a little bit better. It may not even have been for this car. Um, it's kind of what I'm assuming. Maybe they put the wrong kid in here. Because it's not lining up exactly perfect. But they did change it out. And you got a lot of wrong cuts so you can get a carpet kit for this car fairly cheap make it match let's go ahead and start her up pull her out of gear starts up good Did we ever try the horn? <laughs> Let's try it now. I think we took off without trying the horn. So if you made the whole video, we still tried the horn and it doesn't work. Neither does those turn signals, I don't believe. Actually, I wanna leave it on a second. Make sure I haven't actually looked. It wasn't clicking or popping up on the dash, so I didn't know for sure. I was gonna check back on the video here. No, turn signals, I don't, do not believe they're working. That switch did not feel like it was getting contact.
Charger's nice and quiet. Electric fan's on. Get some chips up under the hood. Let's come on down with it. The edges of your hood's got some more chips. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit subscribe, share, and hit like. And I will keep making them for you. If you're new to the channel, check out maplemotors.com. I have 100 detailed pictures. I have financing and shipping available. And we update every Monday with new cars. But this Monday, we'll be at the SEMA show in Vegas. We will be back next Thursday. We're closing Monday through Wednesday next week. So check the date of this video. And if you're out there in Vegas, I'll see you there. Thanks again for watching, guys. Y'all have a good one.